Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to um, analyze this pattern that you see here. We're going to look at these individual squares, which we'll call pixels, and we'll see how they grow over time to predict what this shape would look like in step 100. Um, so I encourage you to pause the video and analyze this shape and kind of predict how, how tall will it be, how, how wide will it be, um, how many red pixels, how many purple pixels, how many green pixels will there be uh, in step 100. All right, so when we look at this problem, one of the first things you might notice is that um, we're given step zero. I'm going to think of this as the beginning. Then it goes up one step to step one, so we see growth in a step, and then it hops up, it skips steps two, and goes right to step three. And uh, I, I keep that in mind because I'm like, oh, before I look at this growth here, I need to realize we're missing a step. It's just not there. Um, and I'm not going to attempt to draw it because it would just take me too long in this video, but we're going to talk about that. So what do we notice? Well, I notice that right away these red pixels, and let me not write red and blue, that, that'll be confusing. I use the, the black color here. So we have red, 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 red in step zero. We have five of them. And then in step one we have another five, right? And then in step three, even though we skipped the step, we still only have five reds. So I notice right away, okay, the number of reds is constant. Then I notice something else. I notice, okay, well, um, in step one, I get these purple pixels, and I get eight of them. Two, four, six, and eight. Two, four, six, eight. I get eight purples, and they weren't there in step zero, so they were at nothing, and then there's eight of them. And then in step three, there's lots of purples. So I notice there's the original eight here, and then another eight purples. So there's 16 purples. And I notice there's a new color at this stage as well. So I notice, okay, there's 16 purples, but now there's also eight greens. Green, 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 green. So this tells me, I'm, I think what I'm looking at here, and I can imagine that step after step one came step two. I'm going to just kind of draw this little dashes here. I think this shape here inside the dashes was step two. Right, I want to label that. I think that that is, I'm going to circle it like this, step two. Because step two is kind of inside step three. Here's step two. So in step two, we added eight greens. And then in step three, we added eight purples. So what I think is happening in this pattern is that we start with five reds. We surround it with eight purples, like this, in this way. And then in step two, we add eight greens on top of that. And then eight purples on top of that. So step four... I'm thinking we'll just add another green here, oops, here, 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 right, and so on and so forth. Those would be the greens, oops, that we add outside of that. So it's like these squares in step four are just going to kind of tile out this way, right along the diagonals, right, along these diagonals here. And that growth pattern is going to continue in those directions. So it's kind of like we start here and then just tile out tile out, and so on and so forth. I see this growth pattern happening, and if, and if it's not making sense to you, what I really encourage you to do is try to draw step two and step four until you make sense of this pattern, right? So I see this pattern just starting with the red and tiling out in these directions. So now we can make sense of this. So I'm going to scroll down and look at this pattern uh, in a table that I've already filled out. 